and he just grabs my chest oh my God. and starts going off at me. Oh. Smacked Michael in the back of the head. He like grabbed him and he literally like turned side on and had like a clenched fist. Like he was just going to wind up and just <laughs> knock him out. Why women should get breast implants <laughs> on their 16th birthday. <laughs> 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 nah, that's hectic shit. Milk! It's milk, you fucking c- Oh, episode 29? Let's talk about it later, Matt. I think so. I think we're at episode 29. Yeah. Oh, I wrote it down on the card thing. So. <sighs> Welcome to episode 29 of the Money Michael Fully Actual Podcast, guys. Look, we've got a jam mass episode, all right? We got Brown's Breaking News. We got one, which is kind of a prank call. We got a prank call. We got Tinder Adventures. We got Bamboozled, which James has just informed me is a potential like 10 out of 10 pain, which has just really scared me. It's rocked me hard, Yeah, man. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's really f- with my head. We got... We got we, we, great we debate. Got, we got great debate. We got great debate. Oh, shit, I didn't f- plan it. You didn't think about that, did you? No, You're too got, busy. We got great debate. We got all kinds of shit. So strap yourselves in, man, because it's been a long week. <laughs> oh, man. I can't go back to catch this broken. What's wrong? Yeah, yeah, I can't <laughs> go back either. <laughs> Have you yeah. tried turning it off and on again? I don't know how to do that. Cool this technical. Oh, Switch. man, I just can't get past the bamboozle. Is Luke's it? here. He'll fix it. Luke fixes everything. Do you know how to fix the couch, Luke? I think it's not plugged. It must not be plugged in. Anyway, let's, not let's up. look. Right. This is um, yeah. We're, we're on a, a very boring beginning <laughs> talking about a broken couch. I'll just sit up. Straight. But we've just come back from Perth, right? And we went over with Jack and Lockie and um, and Jackson said, "Hey, do you want to film a video with Drickus Duplessis? Duplessis? Hell yeah!" And, um, you know, the middle UFC weight middleweight champion. champ. So um, we were like, yeah, we'll come over. And then hung out with um, Drickus for a bit and filmed. And then You literally hung out. hung out. Well, not really. We just kind of watched him train. And then um, he, we just filmed he some videos with him. He didn't get that. He didn't get it. But I got it. Hanging oh, in the bag. Very I good. See. Very good pun. I Matt. see. Okay. <laughs> I'm here for the Touché, whole episode. Brown. <laughs> 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 yeah, Drickus is a cool cat, hey. They're all cool, man. All the Drickus is mates. He's a thick man. Yeah, yeah, very oh. strong. Very it's nice strong. giving him a little handshake and a touch of the arm. He's like They're all steel. such manly men, all these mates. Hey, yeah. man, they got some wild stories. You South know, Africans, man. man you would scary. not want to be on their wrong side. Yeah. One of them was talking about getting in a fight with a bunch of British dudes. And, and I was like, did you win? And he, he laughed at me like I was like... Like the dumbest question. He was like, I, I could not come home if I lose. <laughs> <Yeah, like, laughs> literally said he couldn't go home if he lost a fight to an English guy. I'm yeah, like, like fuck, even the, the Trickus's coach, like he literally, like Lockie walked in, like filming us, like saying hi to everyone. And then the manager comes over, comes over to Lockie and goes, um, oh, by the way, like um, if, if the coach sees you filming, like he'll probably just come over and like kick you. <laughs> like he's, oh, he doesn't need to do that. He just asked me to stop filming and I'll stop. Yeah. Yeah, that's so the such coach will just extreme. come up, won't even say anything. He'll just fucking kick <laughs> out of a stranger. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that man, dude, he's the stories. scariest looking man. Yeah. Coach, so he'll, intense, like watching him train. If he, if they're slacking off, he, he tases, tases them. them. Yep, <laughs> insane. That would make you kick. And then we'll just like don't literally just like yeah, yeah, you just kind of lie there and get tased, and then you get on with it. And they yeah. said you can't pretend like you're scared because then you'll do it more. Yeah. Did you tell him the story? I don't think he's heard it. Probably Luke has, but. Dude, Dude, tell it well. And Matt, should we show the footage? Yeah, the yeah. No, I got the footage. Yeah. Let's know. Let's get We'll get Connor to clip it in. Yeah. Go on, Michael. Yeah. It was my best work. So basically, we were hanging out around this table, eating in a restaurant, getting to know everyone. And it got, you know, more beers. We got a bit sillier. I was talking to Mark, who is Trickus's uh, fight like partner. Yeah, like his training, training partner. partner. Yeah, Spars with him, trained with him. series and the ultimate fighter. Currently. And he's, he's a so, big dude. Anyway, I was sort of talking to him about fighting because I'm a champion also. <laughs> Us champions must stick together. Anyway, we're Fucking chatting hell. about how good it is to win. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You were you actually? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> anyway, we're chatting away and I was like, he was teaching me shit like with punching and stuff. And then I could, I just came to me, we we're standing up in front of everyone. I was like, I'm going to tell him to make it out like it's a proper fight and we'll see everyone's reaction. 
I should have got my phone out to film it, but I just sort of, as soon as I said it to him, it was on. So I'm like, dude, pretend that you're arcing up at me and we're about to have a fight. And he just grabs my chest oh my God. and starts going off at me. And I started to believe that it was real. South African accent? Yeah, yeah. So, dude, yeah, terrifying. Horrifying. Yeah. Yelling. <laughs> and then I'm horrifying. I'm so scared, <laughs> even though I've told him it's a prank, to pretend it's a prank. But he made it so real that I'm shitting myself. So I start going around eye contact with everyone. Looking at when I see yeah. Jackson, I'm like, Jackson, Jackson, help me. And then Dude, he, he like shitting smacked, himself. Oh. Smacked Michael in the back of the head. He like grabbed him and he literally like turned side on and had like a clenched fist. Like he was just going to wind up and just knock him out. And one of the I'm other training like, partners. I can't fucking do shit. Yeah. I wasn't in there. I'm glad I wasn't there for that. Though. They're oh, like, no. oh yeah, it got to the point where like they stepped in trying to stop it. And then one like, guy did. The, yeah, the training the, part, the other training tra partner wrestling trying to grab guy. his wrist, or, like, trying to hold his arm. Yeah. Like, he, fucking yeah. ripped it away from him. And he was like freaking, you could tell he was going in quite gently at the start too. Like sort of, because I think Mark can fly off the handle a bit yeah. at times. Oh man. Anyway, <laughs> it ends with me sort of smiling and laughing at everyone. And everyone was like, what do you mean that was not real? Like, I swear that You was... didn't break it. Mark did. I thought I did. <laughs> um, uh... Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, dude. We've been so upsetting. Oh man. And he like, he showed us his hand. I kid you not, his knuckle comes out to here and it like starts here. It's like a... Did you see his knuckle? No, I didn't it's like see a, it's big, like a triple hit. size knuckle. And he was saying he hit a guy once and his he felt his knuckle oh. fit into his eye socket. Oh, oh my god. Oh man. Dude, he was a Oh scary imagine man. that. Feeling Such your eye legend, gets though. squished and then popped. Oh. <laughs> Uh, did you get to sit down on Jacko's podcast with him or was that? Yeah, was we were just, behind the camera yeah, oh, for okay, that. Yeah, yeah, it was in the gym that he was training at. So, yeah, it was a very eventful uh, little trip to Perth, a lot of fun. And um, and then we came back. Man, I and had too much here Buller. we are. <laughs> I've had too much Really? Buller. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Michael's flying high on Carver. He's warm. Oh, man. He's a hot boy, hey? Can you explain what Carver is for anyone who doesn't know? It's a root. It's a plant. You can drink it, but we I had too much. Michael binges it, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Is that it there in the cup? Yeah. <laughs> we were what driving around in a real fancy car too in Perth. Really? Uh, yeah. Alexis? A yeah. G-Wagon. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, dude, driving with Jackson is horrifying. <laughs> Fucking horrifying. <laughs> was, was he on the phone? He'll just be like, just be like driving 140 on like a city street, scrolling his phone, just getting some dopamine in, checking out some chicks on Instagram, and you know, slam on the brakes and go again and play loud music. It's like so stimulating. It's scary, man. It can be I, so didn't, scary. I forgot that you hadn't experienced that yet. Yeah, no, yeah driving with Jackson. Severe motion sickness the whole time. Matt would have yeah, not I enjoyed have, it. Yeah, would have Matt been, can't oh, not dude, be driving. He would have been panicking. He was gripping on. <laughs> Do you remember when um Julian just got to a stage where Julian would just refuse to drive with Jackson? <laughs> And because Julian was scared, Jackson could sense he was scared, so he would like go even harder. More. Dude, <laughs> one of the best stories is Jackson going off at someone for them going off at him because he was on his phone while <laughs> yeah. he's driving. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. driving along, and then this girl's like, "Get off your phone!" He's like, "Shut up! I'm on my phone." <laughs> <laughs> like he's on a call or something. Yeah, oh, I'm man. on the phone. <laughs> but she's really inconsiderate. <laughs> Oh, very good. But yeah, oh, so man. fucking, we're, oh God, I hope um, we're trying to get some tickets to go this weekend, but um, we'll see how that goes. So you'll know by next podcast. But fuck, man, exciting times. Oh, very man. exciting. Are you guys going for Drickus in the fight now? Yeah, f oh, I am. Yeah. yeah. I was going to anyway. I find Adesanya so boring. He'll probably God. watch this. Yeah, he'll see yeah. this. It's fine. I'll fuck smash that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say things like that. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, Perth is like, I reckon, Brisbane in the 80s. <laughs> Brisbane in the that. 80s. <laughs> it, they're just like 40 that. years behind, but also no, everything's inflated. I, it's I don't more think expensive we saw that there. much of it. Sorry. I shouldn't have said it's that. It's a cool city. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I kind of see what you're saying. I think you need to get out of the city and have a look around and be not, a lot nicer. Everything's a bit more expensive too because they're their own island. Sorry about that. <laughs> And Rotten actually, out. I've got a bone to pick with Perth. Oh, go on. You're getting us in trouble. You're picking fights with Israel. Smash now Perth, Perth is going to be against us. People call Perth, Perth. But little do they know, 
it's actually Earth. All right, Have well, you said that? Did you know. say that? I said Perth? it five times when we were away <laughs> and no one caught on to it and I thought it was the best line ever. I still anyway. Know. Obviously, it's not that good. Oh, but that leads into something that I have. Oh, what about very... the girl who dropped her phone in the chalene? Oh, oh, yeah. That's oh, good. man. Dude, that was very this was good. was so good. Such a socially awkward oh. moment. So this, it's how we, we got to Perth. We went to lunch at this Italian restaurant. And like, there's this Italian waitress, Jackson, like talking. And she was like an, an, a really nice, like middle-aged lady. <clears throat> and um, yeah, she, she was just like really not, you know, we just... She, she was served lovely. Us. She served us and she was nice. Anyway, Very like yeah. the next morning we were at breakfast somewhere and she just so happens to walk in. Yeah, not in the same area, ages away. Like yeah. Completely different area. And so we see her, like, we point to her, oh, and then she uh, waves and as she goes to f***ing wave at us, her phone's <laughs> in her hand, her phone flies out of her hand and then there's one fo- water feature in this entire restaurant and flies into the water feature. <laughs> and we're all just like, oh, and you could tell she was so super embarrassed yeah, about it and horrified because her phone's like two foot underwater yeah, and so couldn't she, get her little arms and oh, then her fish so it she out. just l- plunges oh. her arm deep and as she plunges her arm her bag falls off her shoulder and, oh. and sits into the water oh. and did no just, one get up to help yeah michael, michael got up to did. help yeah, and okay. just slung his arm in didn't do anything the rest of put his arm piercing in. ourselves <laughs> laughing and filming prank yourself might even put his hand in and flick it just going oh i've done all that her? She, and then she sort of got it out and then was like it was a quick cut off she just turned away yeah she like, didn't oh even God, she didn't want to have to deal with yeah. it like it was I like oh, oh, saw her. Yeah. oh man just very cringe mm. very cringe moment for her just so cringy because you just know how embarrassed it would have been for her i hope yeah. she's okay sick kinta kinta cafe if you live in perth and you haven't been there holy shit we went both mornings because it was yeah. that good yeah very it was very good, good. oh so good um, cool. Matt, Matt's um, getting into a fight. Yeah. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's nothing's official. Look, guys, we got contacted by the Podcast Royale 2.0. Okay, so they are going next year. They're doing the same thing again. Um, so we, they reached out and said, "Oh, you know, do you guys want to get involved?" Me and Michael kind of tossed it up. And we're like, "Oh, it's not really worth the time commitment for us because, like, there was a period of like, I don't know, six weeks where we just couldn't." Oh, film what we usually film yeah. because of fear that we would get injured for this boxing fight. So it just kind of everything ground to a halt at Marty and Michael while we trained for this. Was it the really- fear of of ruining because <coughs> your main event ruining the yeah saying oh, we have to back out of yeah. busted myself yeah, yeah. well okay. that and also because we'd already put so much work and time and money into it okay. we didn't want to, all of that to be, go to waste and filming in general was hard just because of stress too it's yeah it's hard to be funny two weeks out because yeah. you're kind of like thinking about it but so we we decided against it but we still wanted to be involved we still want to. You know, because we love that kind of shit. We love the podcast, Aussie podcast community, all those boys. So we want to. And everyone, everyone on that night were fucking legends. Yeah, as and well. like yeah. We, um, even when we were there, when we were getting ready for the fight, we were thinking it would be so good if we weren't fighting. We could just like be out there, like drinking mm-hmm. and having fun. So we want to genuinely experience that. So we want. We said, look, we we want to get involved, and we said instead of you know me and. Michael getting involved. Why doesn't the Brown Town get in there and f-ing destroy someone's life? F-ing bang! F-ing knock some. T- out! <laughs> yes! Oh, and that's what Matt said to me. Oh, I did not. Matt was going to come up all fired up. There was no white in his eyes. It was just huge pupils. I'll fight anyone. No, I'll, I'll fight, fight anyone. Any size, any day, <laughs> any time. <laughs> <laughs> and then his gills opened and flooded. Oh, oh. So, I didn't say that. So Matt is we're throwing Matt's hat into the into the ring and we're gonna see if we can tee Matt up for a fight. So guys, if you are following the Alpha, what is it, the Alpha event stuff and you see them posting, make sure to comment and say, We want Matt Brown on the card. <laughs> okay, we want Matt saying. Brown on there. We'll still do, you know, the promo as if it's as if we were fighting in the event. So that's what we told them. We said we'll pay for all of Matt's training and we'll even go and help him out. So it's all the same, except this time Matt's getting in the ring. How fucking exciting is so that? So exciting. Oh, and we'll give you guys way more notice than last time. Yeah. So this time we want some fucking legends in the crowd Yeah. yeah on need, our side. Yeah, yeah, we need some yeah. support. Yeah, because we'll be drinking that night. So it'll be like yes. it'll be like we're all going out getting <laughs> up. Well, Matt and some <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's what Matt's been saying behind the <laughs> scenes. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, I have not. <laughs> oh man, imagine the glory. You can feel what I felt. Yeah, well, I could just wake up in a hospital somewhere. Yeah, that's the other option. <laughs> the, the alternative other option. is that you die. Mm. Oh, yeah, boxing is oh, very man. dangerous. My dad, Greg, I remember uh, I remember he was on the Gold Coast when your fight was on. He was at the Gold Coast and I was telling him about it and he's like, "Oh, yeah, he's like you're not going to do anything like that, are you? And I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, probably. Oh, I'll be you really slowly you tell it up. Dad, <laughs> I'm gonna f***ing <laughs> rock some. <laughs> you could tell Dad was like worried as well. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Dad was like real worried as if I was going to do something like that. I'll say, well, I'm thinking what I'll do. I'll just call him on the night. Like, oh, hey, Dad, I'm going to get into a, into a boxing match. Oh, when is it? Tonight. I'll see you later. Fight him. <laughs> Battle of the Browns. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Imagine. Matt oh. knocks his dad out. Oh, 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 oh. Do you reckon you could beat your dad in a fight? Now I could, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. But um, <laughs> early on, early days, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Early yeah. days. Do you reckon you beat your dad in a fight? I don't think so. <laughs> He's, dude, your dad's pretty big, eh? Yeah. I think, I think my dad's got skills, so I reckon he'd. Yeah, he'd, he'd pin me down. Oh, yeah, he'd probably yeah. take him to the ground, yeah. 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 I mean, Do you reckon you'd be your dad? Like, Gaz back in the day Dude. would kick my ass, <laughs> man. Kick my ass. Now I'd be fine. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Well, dads. look, I have something that I'd like to request. Oh, oh here we go. Dad. Here we go. Okay, we have Luke here. You can be the judge. <laughs> we also <laughs> Luke's behind camera. James, you, I would love you to participate. <laughs> okay. But you can oh, also no. just be the no, judge. No, I'll, if I'll, you feel I'll jump in. Okay, it's just a classic thing. It's from a movie called Austin Powers Gold Member. Oh, no. It's the scene where Beyonce, Beyonce is talking <laughs> to Austin Powers and she says a famous line that stuck with me for years. I pull it out on benders. I'm going to do it here. I know the line. Boxing. You have to yeah. do it with Boxing. passion. And I'm a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a whole oh. <laughs> Can we see the line or are you just going to do it and it's we have good, to impersonate not, you? Yeah, yeah, can we exactly. put the, the scene up? Oh, man, this is no, so is possible. Cringe. We can't. Or we'll get we'll right. Okay. Because I'm Foxy Cleopatra and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she's good at it. Why yeah. is that stuck she, with you? She said it. it. Of course she's okay. good at it. What's the order? <clears throat> well, do you want me to set it off? Yeah, go for it. you got to do the hand. Oh, they didn't see the hand. You guys want to see the hand? Well, you'll see it from me. Okay. Yeah, but you might not have it spot on. And you have to look down the lens. <laughs> Can't break eye contact. Oh, <laughs> Just look at Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Foxy Cleopatra, and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I see it. That's you didn't laugh at the end. She laughed. You, you didn't have oh, the. Yeah. She, I, and she overemphasized her. And I'm a whole lot of woman. Yeah, <gasps> look, I'm not the best at it right now, especially with Buller in me. So you're up. Blame, what was don't the blame the Buller. Click, 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 click like a Z. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You're good. <clears throat> Jeez, okay. that's hard. I'm Foxy Cleopatra and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> <laughs> I love the start. I really like the start. Where does she click? As, as she's saying, as she's saying it. it, I'm Foxy Cleopatra. Oh, God, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do, the, I don't think I can do the, the clicks as I'm saying it. No, you have to. You, have, you to. have to use brain and right. body. Here we go. <laughs> Make sure you look down the lens. I'm Foxy Cleopatra and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. That is Okay, <sighs> James can go, and then Luke, you're the decider of the winner. Cause I'm Foxy Cleopatra, and I'm a whole lot of woman. <laughs> wow! Fuck oh, wow! Very oh, good. Oh, good. Yuck. oh wow! James wrote that. <laughs> Luke, who wins? <laughs> he said he'd give it to me and he hates Michael. <laughs> okay, look. Well, man, that got. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Thank you. That was a lovely request. We're you guys African are American bad. women now. Yeah, especially Matt. I transitioned. Yeah, we identified as that for like six to eight seconds. <laughs> it was fun. And we were in Austin Powers. <laughs> anyway, let's. Um, 
I want to throw a little scenario at you guys. <coughs> You're on a date um, with a lovely young lady. It's the third date. Things are going well. And um, you start kissing. It's dark. No one around. And she slides her hand down your pants and makes her way to your um, little cock and balls. And uh, her hair gets caught. Her hand gets caught. Hair or hand? Her hand gets caught in your hair. Oh. What? She pulls oh. her hair away, right? Sorry. Rips some of your hair out, completely ruins the moment, and she leaves. She might even have degloved your cock. Oh. Look, uh, it's happened. I've heard it on the news. So what I'm trying to say is go to manscapes.com and fucking make sure that that cannot ever happen happen i don't want anyone who listens to our shit to 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 go in and embarrass themselves like that i mean it okay go on go on go on make sure you look okay like just start lo looking after yourself a little bit put some effort into how you look because it, you know you guys you're walking around you come up to us in the streets and hey i listen to the podcast and you look like shit. no one likes hair you look there. like shit when you when you come up to us i'm sorry like it's just it's hard man i, I just want the best for you guys and and because of that have 20 percent off have 20 percent off everyone shave fully actual 20 the link is in the description and just go and just 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 go to the website man it just helps you to look what's better the website feel better. manscape.com that was a double plug yeah. <laughs> it's also Father's Day soon, so 20% off. Oh my God! Father's Day. Get it for your dad. Oh my and God, your get mom. it for your dad. You and don't know your what mom. to get for your dad? I'm fucking good at this. Instead yeah. of just getting nothing for your dad, why not right now just pause, go to Manscaped, 20% off, buy him a gift, boom, done. Don't have to think about it. Father's Day sorted. Or birthday. Go or on buy a birthday. Or, or Mother's Day, also for women. Yeah, it's also for women too. Yeah, probably more so. Do you what? reckon your mum shaves? Yeah, I reckon oh, she does. Oh. <laughs> Do you reckon your mum shaves? Germany, oh they, don't, they don't know how to. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, Mans I don't think yeah. Manscaped has a machine strong enough. I've got a theory with the Manscaped and the women thing. I've noticed on YouTube lately that the women have been on all the advertisements mm. and I feel like that is, is all because of us okay. saying that it's for women. I don't think anyone else says it's for women and we have brought that forward and now they're bringing women into their advertising. Yeah. What do you think about that? Think I'm onto something? No. Business. And so, yeah, that's Manscaped, guys. Get around them. F suck shit up. Fully actual 20, 20% 20 off. And, of course, the main reason we can all sit here like this is the website. Hell yeah. Mm. University of Markle. There's a link in the description. We post weekly f huge, massive movies, right, that we can't f post social media because he's always playing with shit. Yeah. There's always shit involved when Mike is on camera. So if you want to see that, sign up to our 21-day free trial. You can look at some of the content and you can decide if if you want to pay money to see Michael play with shit. It's not all just shit. No, there was a bestiality no. bit today on the video we watched. So there will be some bestiality. I nearly yeah. died in the last one. Really? Yeah, true. Yeah. Which the one? The flame. The flame. Oh, yeah. Why not? Yeah, we did Oppenheimer Holy 2, T-double-O, and we built a bomb in the backyard and Ryan and James nearly died. So if you want to see <laughs> yeah. that... It's on the website, 21 Day Free Trial. And f thank you for everyone, all your support. Okay, it really means so much to us. And me and Michael. Don't forget a five star review on Spotify. Mm. All right, let's f oh. get in. They we got some news too. We forgot to talk about and shit talk. What? The f date of the live show is locked bloody in, oh. boys, as of oh. today. Mm. Look, guys, holy Clear shit. Clear your schedules. <clears throat> Holy shit, guys. The the news that we forgot to mention. We, we've booked in the venue for the live show this year, which is which is uh, 11 weeks away. It's 11 mm. weeks away. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get tickets out as soon as possible. It's a Friday night at the Princess Theatre in Brisbane. It's f***ing huge. It's going to be bigger <clears throat> than last year. And yes, we're going to have a mad piss up after. So get work off on Friday. What's the date? The, the venue? 25th of October. The 25th of October. So get the uh, the day off work on the 25th of October because it's going to be a wild, massive piss up. And Matt Brown's going to be training to knock some clean out mm. to take that man from oh. his family. Whoa. Ah! 
<laughs> buy tickets quick because there's going to be VIP tickets this time. Oh, yeah. And there's only VIPs. a limited amount. We're going to have VIPs. Yeah. Holy mm. shit. So it's all going down. But anyway. But I reckon it's time to have a bong. Yeah, you're probably yeah, right, yeah. actually. All right. We're going to have a mad bong break and we'll be right back with a great debate with Tinder Adventures, with Brown Delivers News and some other shit. <gasps> Suck it down, brother. <laughs> Look at that. The great debate between <laughs> mates. This is the great debate. Hey, bake, hey, late. Yeah, that's good. That rhyming. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, before you start, did you feel that was louder? Yeah, it sounded nice to me. <laughs> Maybe. Did you do something that you're well, proud no, of? Well, no, I just reset the thing and I was wondering if it was louder, but you all talked <laughs> over it so I couldn't help you. You fucking idiot. Just stop. <laughs> All right, this is a segment <laughs> where Matt and Michael go head to head. They put their intellect on the line and they use all of their intelligence to try and win this debate. It's important to note that the opinions expressed by Michael and Matt are 100% true and what they actually feel inside. No, the other way around. They are not true, okay? This is not true. This is all a joke. None of what they're about to say is true. They don't even know what the debate, what the topic is yet. I don't even know what the topic is yet. It's all a joke, so if you're easily offended or whatever, just maybe if there's any topic that offends you in life, just skip this segment, okay? It's not for you. It's a mouth exercise. Yeah. Putting um, words together and in, in see how good our talk. All right. <clears throat> Today's topic is... All females should get fake breast implants on their 16th birthday. <laughs> Are you right? That's fuck. Okay. Not my idea. Okay. It was Matt's. Man. It wasn't mine. <laughs> it's a topic Matt feels very strongly about. And that's why he's for this argument. <laughs> I've got to think. Like, how do you argue? Okay. I think I've got an angle. I think I've got an angle. If I get a four, I've got an angle to go with. Well, let's pick. All right. You got to pick last week. So, Michael, which one would you like to pick? Oh. Is nothing. But which is, means oh. Matt is four. <laughs> it's oh, it's dude, the worst. That is the worst. I'm life so glad right now, dude. He's oh. got such bad Man, life. this is easy for me. Oh. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you've got your four, so you're first. <laughs> All right. Matt, you've got one and a half minutes to convince us that, man, it is quite a. I can't even want to say the name of the topic again. It's just too controversial. You came up with it. What are you talking about? You whispered into my ear before. The I'll take a lie detector test. <laughs> <laughs> so will I. Oh, shit. <laughs> so will I. Oh, man. I'm excited to hear what you come up with here, mate. It's going to be a tough one to prove. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the topic? I've actually forgotten the actual. You think, you think that all females should get breast implants on their um, 16th, 16th birthday. birthday. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Why women should get breast implants <laughs> on their 16th birthday. Um, children, technically, they'd be still children. Well, it depends what state and country you're in, mate. Okay. Anyway, stop fucking interrupting. Um, okay. Oh, there's so many benefits. There is so many benefits. Uh, I'm going to start with one. Um, women would just look better. Okay. <laughs> They'll be able to fill out. They'll be able to fill out dresses, right? Which would help the economy. Like it would be help the economy of fashion because there'll be more women with more boobs, which means they can make bigger dresses, which means more cotton and stuff, and that means you have to make more of it. So. They would cost more money to make. So it's good for the economy. All right? And then surgeons would obviously, their business would skyrocket because on the 16th birthday of every woman, they have to get implants. So their business would also skyrocket. Good for the economy. You can tax the shit out of that as well. So it's good for the government. So all I'm saying is good for the economy if all women had tits on their 16th birthday. Also, for men, it is a absolute win for men. In this situation as well. Because who doesn't want a pair of fake tits? 
<laughs> just to remind you guys, this is not real. What we are saying is just a joke. We don't actually think any of this, okay? <laughs> I'm good there. That's it. <laughs> All right, Michael, your rebuttal. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> Matt, I heard you talking about money before. <laughs> Indeed. Well, money is the root of all evil. Now, James, would you say what age in America do you have to drink? 21. Huh. I see. Now, James, can you tell me what age you'd probably have to get a tattoo? 18. Huh. I also see. Now. What's the age of consent, you fucking loser? When would you be able to technically change your body if you want to? As soon as you're born now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all. That's probably not a good point. Look, <laughs> mommy, I'm a dog. Okay. <laughs> I believe I'm a girl. If we breast Hormones. implants, if you look at breast implants, they do more damage than good in long term. A lot of people get cancer. Also, they have to get them redone. Too, it's going to be too pricey. If you're talking money, it's going to be too pricey for the actual women or girls. But I think if you can't alter your body with a tattoo, it's 18. You can't drink till 21. That's fucked in America. That's crazy. So why should you be able to tattoo yourself? No, sorry. What's the thing again? Implants. Implants. Why would you be able to get implants on your breasts if you're only 16? <laughs> also, it would be, yeah, there would be problems just like if you try and mass put something out straight away, it just doesn't work. Time. Quite a strong debate this week. Mm, look at the focus. Three, two, one, go, Brown. What are you talking about? <laughs> that made no sense. The laws that you just stated are written by men, and men are also able to change them. So <laughs> you, it's it's invalid that you use that as your main attack on me, that, that they, ha they have to be certain ages because that's what's written in law. Not to mention all those laws are different all around the world, which proves, one, they can be changed, and two, they don't all make sense. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Also, <laughs> also let's be real. I saw a picture of a and even that was good. So I would be even going further as saying that younger than 16 would be worth doing, but right now 16 is good. Okay, look. You should also, probably get rid of that. Also, where are the, where's the statistics of, of tits and cancer? Fuck off. That's real. That's actually real. Yeah, well, you didn't talk you about didn't, it that much. You did, okay, you didn't say who. You didn't name any any scientific little things. I'm not a book. Yeah, well, you should be. <laughs> Time. You should be a book. Is Matt's final <laughs> argument. <laughs> you should be a book. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Destroy him, Michael. Look. I don't want anyone getting breast implants. Come on, give it to him. I'll meet him halfway. <laughs> <laughs> One implant? Yeah, yeah. No, look, I reckon let's move it to 18. So once they're 18, I agree that should happen. And let's make it fair all boys or men because they're 18 should get breast implants too. Or at least one on their back, in the center of their back. Mm. So that's, that's honestly the truth. I think I'm going to have to agree with you. <laughs> Where are you going? He's oh. kissing you. Put it there, partner. Michael didn't give you this respect to stand with you. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't be bothered taking his headphones off, pushing his mic out of the way. My hair's a mess. Man, you are such a bad rebutter. <laughs> oh, shit. You're right. always just like concede and you're like, yeah, you win. But no, I moved it to my terms. It's by two years. <laughs> yeah. And kept it all range, so it's not sexist. But once again, we win again <laughs> okay. because eventually we all get tits. Anyway, that's let let us comment some suggestions for the great debate if you uh, want to get involved, guys. Because they're getting scarce. That's a rough one. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Well, Matt's been pestering me for that one for weeks. So no, you know, I haven't. I finally, had to do it because I didn't have one prepared. But if you guys want to get involved. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let us know. Oh, man, I just realised that. <laughs> is, there, is there a fussy little boy today or bamboozled? Bamboozled. bamboozled. Remember Maybe. the really scary one where it could be a 10 <laughs> out of 10 pain? I can't I'm deal with scared, the stress. Man. You want to do it now? I think so. Yeah, let's just bomb do a break. bomb break. Let's just do this. All right, look, we're Hell getting bamboozled yeah. over and done with because we're freaking out about it. Let's have a go and have a bong break. We'll be right back. Bamboozled, baby! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Um, before I tell you boys, spin the tape, Connor! It's bamboozle time, and as you can see, I have some green ants. We're gonna have three rubber gloves sealed up. One of them is gonna have green ants in it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Okay, I'm gonna seal it up. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so fun. <sighs> Alright. Panic attack. Okay, give me my last hit of wonder and let me hear my jingle. Because we haven't heard it yet. Oh, you yeah. You forget to play it. No. No, not me. No, not again. Please. Oh, I'm so confused. I can't see. You've been bamboozled, bitch! Yeah, 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 check it. I say, you've been bamboozled, bitch! <laughs> not me, not me, not me. Oh, hey, dude. Joy's over. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so do you guys remember do you guys remember Hamish and Andy sticking their hands in that glove that had ants in it? No. <gasps> I have remade that, but with our local lovely Australian green ants. No f off you. Yeah, have. I have, man. So one of these gloves has about six or seven green ants You're in it. You're f***ing kidding me. <laughs> Are you f***ing serious? <laughs> yeah, I am. This oh. is going Oh, dude, this is... <laughs> How did you like... collect them? <laughs> That's fucking good shit. <laughs> so bad. What's about to happen? I, I vomited yeah. from this. I had like three bites and I it's vomited. A, yeah, it's a bit scary, but I figure it is what it is, you know? Oh, There's it been times in the past where you guys Wait, have I had get some... that explanation. That was great. <laughs> you guys have had <laughs> some painful shit and it hasn't been enough, so I've had to up the ante. Well, no, no, you did not. I oh. did. <laughs> Off you had this is not ante. about us. This is about the viewer. Okay, so that's a good point. for those who don't know and aren't from Australia, a green ant is an ant that it's green. It it, it inject it bites you and it stings for like an hour. Okay, it's like a really fucking painful sting, and yeah, the hand is not a good sting. spot because there's lots of nerve endings in the hand. And I and <laughs> you then. So close to hitting you, dude. <laughs> it depends oh. on the green ant, too. I've had one sting for like two, three hours before. Oh, no, dude. No one, un like, this is so bad what's about to happen. If you are unlucky here, it's going to be consequences for like 12 hours. Um, How long do we have to leave our hand in the glove for? What do you say then before, Luke? Until everyone's guessed. Yeah, until everyone's guessed, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so let's all make a pact right now to guess reasonably quickly. Yeah, yeah, straight away. Within like a second. No, because what if it's not us? Then we might not like that we agreed to that earlier. <laughs> who cares who wins? Just fucking guess. <laughs> oh, fuck. baby. Okay, looks like you've been do it within three seconds. Who we're lost? Dead. Who lost last time? Didn't I? Well, lose the last loss? bamboozle was the the lighter. You all we lost. All lost yeah. No, I lost. It was me. I remember, I, I went. Oh, we all lost. Yeah, yeah you all. lost. I just zapped myself earlier. That's Man, all. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm thinking of a number between one and fifteen. Um, well, you'll, you'll just have to trust me. I can tell, Luke. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. One and fifteen. Can you see it? No. You saw it. Hey, Luke. All right, sweet. Luke now knows, so Luke is holding me accountable. Michael, go first. Nine. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna go eight. Oh, I was gonna go eight. Uh, Ten. I've lost. Marty wins. The number was five. Oh, oh I don't. Well, <laughs> you don't win that yeah, much. You just get to choose first. Oh, okay. So I don't know what was going okay. on. Okay. Um, Can I have a look at them? One, there, two, or three. Is there anything in the yes. other two? Yes. So I've put a little bit of dirt in the other two. And I promise you, there's. I haven't put an ant in everyone. I swear on everyone's lives. Oh, my God. This is so stressful, bro. Oh, there is no. only ants in one. Can oh, you hold no. them up? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Let's just get them on. Let's put the glove on. Oh, it's so terrifying. Sorry. Have you got the right hand ready? Uh, Stop trying fuck! to look through them. Stop trying to look through them. I didn't want it to be my left hand. They're very naughty boys, aren't they, Luke? <sighs> oh, yeah, shit, it's my left hand too, baby. Oh, I'm left hand. Now, obviously, <laughs> hey, what I would recommend you do, I would recommend you quickly put it on and then hold it because you don't want them crawling out and, and crawling up your pants and biting your nuts. I need to lean forward for this. I need to lean yeah, forward. Yeah, okay, I'm going to move forward So as well. hold the glove on like this, look at each other, quickly say a name. Brown. And then you can take it off. Oh, dude, what name do I have so to say? scary, dude. I don't know if I can do well, this. Well, I suppose oh, you've got to choose who you think is getting bitten. You're oh, going to have to leave it on long enough that you... Oh, my blood die. pressure's starting to go yeah, up. this is bad. <laughs> Let's be men. Oh, oh, dude, are you okay with it? I don't know. I think <laughs> I just... I was allowed out of my house as a kid and I used to like, play out the field and you get bitten all the time. Did you not have freedom as a kid? Dude, I yeah, put my stomach on a nest and I was for eight my hours. My parents would be like, outside. 
and I just get bitten. <laughs> you know, if you wait, this is a I life just changer. Sit on a green ant nest. <laughs> this is a fucking life changer. Do you remember okay. when it rained and all the nests would they'd all climb over and each other? Don't look in. Just stick your hand in there. Yeah, if I look in, I don't think I'll be able. If I see them, I won't be able to go near them. Uh, this one's dirty. Thing. Oh, that must have been the one I caught them with. Fuck. Doesn't mean anything. Fuck, we only had three. That gloves. means it's probably That's not that probably, one. Then. I don't know. Because if he's caught him there. with that one. It could be the one or it might not be the one. All right, the hypothesis is over. It's time to perform. Let's oh, do it. Three, two, five. one, and put on. Oh. Four, three, two, one, go. Don't look at it and put it on. Don't look at it and put it on. I can't even get it. Don't look at it and put it on. <laughs> put it on. Put it on. <laughs> put it on, boys. One of you. One of you. Has ants. In your bloodstream. Okay, stream. I'm going to say that it is <laughs> brown. <laughs> brown. Who do you say? <laughs> Who do you say? Who do you say? I reckon it's Michael. Uh, I'm going to say, I think it's, mm, I think it's. It's Michael. I think it's Matt. Can we remove? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. It's Michael. Is it Michael? Oh. Is it Michael? <sighs> no, it's me. There is oh no my way. god, dude. How, how are you keeping still it on? in that? Oh, I'm trying to be manly. Whoa! It's scaring oh, me. It's the f- of it. fighting the f- out of me. I want to reveal them. Do it slow peel yeah. off. I want to film it. How are you keeping dude, you're gonna have consequences for this. Constipation. Slow peel. Oh! Ah! oh! What? No <laughs> way. No way, Holy dude. Shit, they're all over his dude. You are a bad man. Dude, show the camera. Yeah, go up there, please. Oh, I'm dude, stuck. That is hectic. How are you allowing oh. that? Dude, if good luck to whoever Matt's boxing. Times. He's gonna kill him. Oh, look, they're all on the ground in front of Marty He's Shakun. Throw them at Michael. I've seen this before. I would never do that. Ah! Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did not mean, I did not mean that. Wait, Michael's running. I did not mean that. You're crazy. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh. They only bit me a few times. It was all right. Holy oh. shit. I don't understand. It's it stings though. They're on the ground next to your feet, Marty. So see. Oh, like, yeah, I think my hat. That's the bravest thing I've ever seen you do. I could now. not do that. <sighs> I'm paying for it now. Yeah, it's going to hurt for a while. Dude. The How many bites? Sting is a bit shit. I don't know, maybe like seven. Shit. Dude, oh my lord! You're gonna get Brown. sick from it. I vomited when it happened. Oh, Matt's being coyote, dude. Coyote you're being fully Peterson. brave. <sighs> it's the, it's the linger, the lingering pain. Oh, oh dude, dude. So came glad that, that was me. I was me. so scared then. Yeah, Matt did that like boss shit. I can't. You are definitely gonna He's win a boxer the fight now. Yeah, yeah you are yeah. fully. I'm impressed as your coach. Smash whoever he comes up against. Oh, I am. They better not look at you twice. Don't tell. <laughs> don't say that. Wow, that oh, was man. so brave, Brown. Look, they're still crawling around on the glove. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. bitten by them. How did you catch that shit? <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid question. <laughs> oh wow. All right, guys. There's bamboozle. Now we can <gasps> f- relax. Oh, it's like yes. little needle injections. Oh my god, so- look at this. They're fucking. They just managed Whoa. to go everywhere. <laughs> and here we go. You watch. We're going to get bitten. What? What are you there's pointing one at? right there. No, there's not. Yeah, I made you do that. The microphone. <laughs> I saw one in your hat before. Someone's microphone is out, maybe? Hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only hear my microphone, not yours. You can't hear me. No. I can hear Matt. Can you? Yep. Oh, shit. You, you're lying. I promise you. Listen How can you hear? Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Oh, hang on, hang on. Listen, listen, listen oh, get ready. Time. How about now? Shh. shh. Not bad, not bad. For some, you haven't had much practice. Uh, had salt. <laughs> Luke looked away from his phone just for a moment. He's like, <laughs> and then straight back to it. Anyway, oh. sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, look, the we've headphones done the hard were broken, part. Yeah. but they're oh, back. Ah, they're back. Okay, we've sweet. done the hard part. Now we get to enjoy Tinder. <sighs> yeah, now we can relax. Oh, I don't think I can relax. Yeah, dude, maybe like dip be... my hand in hot water or something. Is it that bad now? It's just yeah, that'd be the worst part. Dude, hand is so Look fucking on the glove. sensitive too. Look at it hunting for something <laughs> else to sting. Flesh to lay. <sighs> I'm going to put it, my glove back on in hopes that it'll take away my pain. Dude, I think, yeah, you'll realize Paranoid that it's going to be there for a couple of hours. 
from the the one that was on your shorts. Yeah. I, I just made it up. All right. <gasps> All right, let's move on. What, do you have the podcast phone? <laughs> oh, I think it's in Brown's room. There's a little, I'll go get a little <gasps> can you hit it, Brown? A little pinky you got. Yeah. They're little savages, aren't they? Yeah. And the worst Look part was it. I could feel them crawling and they weren't biting and then suddenly they just started gnawing in. Hit it, Brown! <laughs> Sad and lonely women Quiet again. On an app Tinder's there For our laughs Maybe sex If we're staffed Only cows can be cows <laughs> I realised I should have changed one of the lines to take a bath. Tinder's there for our laughs. Take a bath. Sorry. Anyway. All right, guys. <laughs> it's time for Tinder Adventures, and this is where we <laughs> speak to women, sad and lonely women on Tinder, and we've used our friends' images. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> and Luke's right Luke. there. And um, these are these conversations. Now, we were in Perth last week, and I had this phone at home. <laughs> There's a fucking green head biting Michael stuff. Really? Yeah, was biting. Dude. <laughs> You've been bamboozled. <laughs> Green ants everywhere. I shouldn't have said anything. It was getting oh. him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Couldn't bite through My his gargoyle skin. Feet. It doesn't break through. <laughs> anyway, here are the conversations. Like I was saying, we were in Perth last week. We left this. I could, didn't bring this phone. Uh, I was worried I was going to lose it. So um, there aren't many developed conversations. So um, um, there's just kind of beginnings. Um, I was thinking maybe we should make the Tinders fortnightly. I know we probably get f-ing roasted for that, but just to make sure they're quality. I well, see. The, here's the thing: you really put a lot of pressure on yourself about them. But the ones that you've said are not good have been good. Yeah, or, they're well, I've enjoyed good. them. They're always good. So I don't know. I'd, but if you I feel like that, off. that's an option, then oh you my can God. do that. <laughs> Why are there so many? Yeah, I had like seven or eight in there. <laughs> Dude, they're on the ground. They're on the ground coming for your corn. <laughs> I'm sorry, ants. Kill them. Sad and Kill. lonely ants. Kill them. <laughs> on a hill. Okay. All right, here we go. Take a pill. So the conversation starts with, <clears throat> where's my wallet? <laughs> hey, are you drunk? <laughs> No, I'm not drunk. Been snorting heroin though, so I'm a little woozy. Hitachi Flay Flex. Unmatched. <laughs> Hitachi Flay Flex. That's good, dude. Hitachi Flay Flex. Yeah. Was well, she unmatched because of that? Well, well, it's Hitachi fucking fair Flay enough. Flay Flex, dude. I don't think it was that. I think it was more that he's been smashing heroin. Imagine saying oh. that to a girl when she asks what your name is at a club. Itashi Flake Flex. <laughs> Dude. All right. So this is a, this is the girl that we called last week. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. So uh, so the latest thing that happened was, you know, I hung up um, when she mentioned that she had kids. And then I messaged her and said, you didn't tell me you had kids, Kitty. From now on, we need to be honest with each other, okay? And then she replied, you can always read the bio on my Tinder profile with an eye rolling face. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> My mistake, I fully just didn't read that. I'm so sorry. Free for a chat tomorrow? And that was yesterday, so I'm going to... She didn't reply to that, but I say we call her again. Wow. Hell yeah. That is a good setup. Okay. <laughs> Should we call her now or at the end? Up to you. It's in your heart of hearts. What do you feel? I feel like I need to call her right now. Yes. Okay, that's, that's what beautiful. I was hoping for. <laughs> oh. I feel like super apologetic. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> This is Luke. I'm being Luke. <laughs> hey, uh, it's me. It's it's Luke. Um, God, I'm so nervous. Um, I just want to call and, and just apologize for last for last week. I uh, overreacted. And I should have read your Tinder profile, and that was so stupid of me. And I just, uh, I feel like I've ruined it. Um, and I just like, yeah, I, I really think that we have something. Um, so yeah, if you could just call me back when you can. Um, no rush or anything. Um, yeah, we'll just reply on Tinder or something. Like I'm just, yeah, I've been I've been up all night thinking about you. Anyway, just um, yeah, get back to me, okay? Bye, Jade. Oh, and say say hi to the uh, the kids for me too. Our, our kids, CJ. Oh, God. Oh, that is oh, fucked up. Oh, so our kids oh. might have been a bit much. But <laughs> okay. Holy shit! Holy <laughs> shit! She's gonna call the police. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh that, man, I was hoping for you to have like an anger <laughs> outburst. Like, <laughs> fuck, sorry, I just tripped over. Like, <laughs> oh wow, okay. Look, very good. <sighs> Let's try call her at the end of Tinder conversations once more. Yeah. Another message. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we'll keep leaving messages until she answers. All right, so um, I think I may have um, read a. This was a very short one last week, but it's developed. It's continued. A little bit. Not much, by the way. It's still quite a short one. <clears throat> so it starts with, can I have a little turn? <laughs> oh. Hi there. Sorry for the delay. I'm not on here as much, but yeah, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Can I have a little turn? And then she didn't, re- <laughs> she didn't reply for a day. Can I have a little turn, please? No. <laughs> no. Hi there. How are you? Yeah, good. Can I have a little turn, please? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and that is an ongoing conversation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How is she not unmatched? <laughs> oh no! Who says? Who says? Sorry, I've, I don't come on here much. Like, to it ignores the turn. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. All right, so is this a short one too? Please, <laughs> don't turn, please. Oh man! <laughs> so the conversation starts with, <clears throat> "What's good for thrush?" Unmatched. <laughs> <laughs> What a shame. All right. So this is a, this one was a conversation last week where um, he's saying that his boss sucked his doodle. Do you guys remember that? One? No? Maybe I should just start from the top. And it's her name. It's not that long. Her name is um, Plyer. Oh, yeah. No, her name is not Plyer, but I've been calling her Plyer. Anyway, I'll just read it again. <clears throat> Hey, Plyer, how's it going? Hi, Luke. Not bad today. Heading to the gym. How are you? Oh, nice. What are you training? I've been working for 36 hours straight. Damn, 36 hours? Didn't they allow 36 straight these days? Not even in the mines. I'm ta- training with blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> oh, cool. Where'd you go overseas? I went to Spain. Too many tapas and cheap wine. Couldn't resist the temptation. And then the conversation died for a while and it picks up again. Sorry, I haven't messaged. I don't go on Tinder much. Plyer, can I be honest with you? Sure, please go ahead. My boss sucked my doodle at our Christmas party <laughs> last year. <laughs> I don't really know what to do about it. I've only told like two mates, but it's so embarrassing. They just don't get why I didn't walk away. I was honestly frozen with fear while he sucked on my doodle. <laughs> wow, okay. I was not expecting that type of honesty coming my way. Can you change jobs or talk to a psychologist? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm actually pretty embarrassed I said anything. I've been thinking and I've decided it's probably healthier to start talking about it. Something in my brain is telling me I need to talk about this. He sucked my doodle and I was too much of a coward to tell him no. So I let him suck my doodle with firm, long sucks. Then I sound it as his tip exited my mouth. Oh. That pop sound still fucking haunts me. Oh. Pop, pop, pop. Please don't leave me. And that's an ongoing conversation. Oh. Dude, that is so descriptive. Such a, yeah. Man, you should have been a novel writer. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh. That is so rough. Oh. Super honest about it. I do a girl on Tinder. I keep referring to my doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> this is that girl I was asking if I could just have her house. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys remember that one? Yeah, yeah I do remember that. <clears throat> All right. So I'll pick it off from the end of that conversation because that one's progressed a little bit as well. So basically, yeah, you're trying to like buy a house or well, get her to give her house yeah, to you so, and she lives in Thailand. Yeah, so basically the gist of it is um, she mentioned that she owns a house and I started saying, oh, can I have the house? And that's turned into an argument of her saying, no, you can't have the house. And me just kind of saying, like, why? Like, just give me the house. You said that at the start you wanted to meet me and made me book flights. And now you're telling me to book a hotel? Why are you treating me like this? This is ridiculous. What's your address? I'll just stay at the pub until you finish work and then come over at about 9 p.m. I'll crash on the couch and then leave in the morning. No, you can't. Why? Answer me why. What's changed? You are a stranger. How can I allow you to stay in my home? You should book hotel and I will meet you. We've been speaking for like two weeks. I'm not a stranger anymore. You know me. It's me. (laughs) (laughs) As I told you, you have to book a hotel. And then that was last week. So I picked it up again yesterday. And so she thinks that Luke went to Melbourne. So Luke messages. Melbourne was great. Thanks for asking. 
<laughs> oh, dude. And then she replies with the eye rolling emoji. So passive aggressive. You didn't even think about me once. I tried to find you, you know. I hate that we've drifted apart like this. Can you just give me your house and let's move on from this? Come to Brisbane. Where are you now? I'm in Brisbane right now. Why Brisbane? What do you do? I work in mining. Did you think about me last week while I was in Melbourne? You never contacted me. My WhatsApp number is, and then she gives me a fucking number. Call her. <laughs> if you want to chat with me, and then, can I have your house or not? I don't have house here, just in Thailand. Yeah, I know. I want the one in Thailand. Why I have to give you? Ha oh, you are crazy. <laughs> I just don't have a house yet, so it just makes sense. How much money do you have in your bank account? Oh. And that's an ongoing conversation, but now <laughs> I think it's time. <laughs> to call her on WhatsApp. Dude, this is it. Wow, this is progressed to now just chatting to Tinder girls on the phone. Yeah. This is insane. Wow, okay. So what, are you going to go with the angle like, please give me the house? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't remember great. getting so many phone numbers to call. Yeah, I just pass them on to you. Oh. Is there no message either on WhatsApp? No answer, not nothing. <clears throat> I'll just send her a message like, hey, I'm just calling about the house. <laughs> <laughs> Call me back. I <laughs> <She must laughs> think you're fucking mentally insane. Well, you are, Luke. <laughs> she was thinking Luke. Is That's so at least funny. we'll call, okay, the, f the first chick back. Please leave a detailed message after the time. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Uh, hey, hey, uh, it's me again. Um, oh God, I feel like such a loser calling you so close together. I know you should probably wait or whatever, but no, mate, I just, I just really want to hear your voice. Um, so yeah, just, oh God, you're probably at work or something. God, I'm humiliating myself. <laughs> oh, I swear I'm not desperate. Oh <laughs> God. Oh God. Anyway, uh, yeah, just call back when you can. Okay. <laughs> I really miss you, Jade. <clears throat> Oh, dude, that is so gross. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's really a little, his throat like clear up like a bit of bomb. <laughs> she messaged. She goes, can't talk right now. Important call. Please text if important. Hey, it's me. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Call me when you can. Is it why, which one's this? Can you... Can you then say, I love you, and then quickly go in and edit the message and take out, I love you? Oh, no, I reckon keep it because she'll call back if she doesn't know who it is. So if it's keep it chill on the message so she tries and calls back when she can. Oh, the house lady called, no I mean, way. texted on WhatsApp and goes, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Oh, that's a normal replied, question. Me, it's me from Tinder. Who are you? And now I'm going to call her again. Yes. <laughs> hey, hello. Hi. Hey, hey, Sir, is it Siri there? Yes. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's uh, it's me from from Tinder. <laughs> How are you? Who, who are you? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Luke, I came to Melbourne last week, but you refused to meet up with me, and um, you we were talk been talking about you maybe giving me a house. No, no, no. I never give you a house. How? Uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd, you gave me your WhatsApp number, so I just thought I'd call you and we can maybe discuss, like, details and stuff. So, like, um, how would this work exactly? Do you have to, like, sign papers and stuff to, like, say that I own the house now? Like, do we just go to a bank together or some shit? Um, I will talk to you later. Can you send me a message? Now I'm... I, I, I can't hear you. Okay, what's that sound in the background? You're not like out cheating on me. Can, can we hang out? I, I talk to you later. I'm, I'm outside, so I can't hear you. Okay, I'll, I'll send you a message. Okay. okay. I miss you so okay, much. Okay. I miss you. Say it back. Say that you miss me. Oh, <laughs> rejected. Okay, Fuck. look. <laughs> That's heavy. That's getting heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying you have emotions for these women. <laughs> That's Luke's future wife you're talking about. <laughs> oh. oh, he might score you a house Can and a call wife. Me later? This text isn't sending to She the... has a house in Thailand. That's sick. You should definitely marry into that, Luke. Or, or at least see if you can get it. 
Imagine if she just, <laughs> I just wore her down and she's like, okay, okay, I'll give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> just Luke the house. <laughs> Luke gets a house out of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I hope during the podcast that the first chick calls back because. Yeah, that'd be nice. We shall see. Luke. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, you got to hear it. It's very good when he chats to her. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Tinder. That's Great. Tinder, everyone. Uh, yay. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five-star review, everybody. Yeah. Woo. We're at 3.4K. I would love to see 3.4K. Yeah, what's can you remind me? Do? Yeah, right? What's the, Brown what's the deal? said he would call up Greg, your father, and tell him to play golf with him and not show up. Oh, my God. I didn't say I was going to do that. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to grow your hair long. Oh, yeah, that was for money, though. Look. We've got to do something, but please help us to get 3.5K. We've got cool. to decide because I think if we decide something, then, then we'll get them. I swear we have decided, but we've forgotten. <gasps> oh! 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 Man, that actually scared yeah, Can you guys remind us Sorry. in the comments what we said we would do? Yeah. Yeah. We can't remember. Too high. Look, the um the WhatsApp lady just messaged and goes, Luke? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> she must have put two and two together. What's she like, that one? Hey. What's she like? Oh, you know. Oh, <laughs> Lukey. I'll show you guys. Sad and lonely woman. All yeah. right. Well, what's next? What do we got? What, have we uh, got? Oh, box. shit. Wait. Oh, it's the best part of the podcast. It's time for Brown's. Oh, yes. Brown, what's the segment called? Brown's Breaking News. I thought that Brown's was part breaking of the prank news. Call. Brown's Breaking No, no. This is, this is, oh, prank call is. And separate. we get to hear the jingle. We have a legit reason to hear that jingle. Yes. I'm so honored. Oh, Brown, hit that town, town. Take this in, boys. Brown's Breaking News for you. He's breaking down. He'll make a sound. Make the sound brown. <coughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Good sound. All Let's right, so who was it? Michael, do you want to explain what the what the news is today? Oh, this needs? was sent in as a prank call, but we've repackaged it, and Matt's going to deliver some news. Yes. Okay, this is heavy shit. But it's not real? Okay, no. Oh, do you want me? I'm being honest here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're about to tell a dude that he's had a kid. He's had a kid with yeah. a girl, and that the girl has so she's hired had it you. already. Yeah, the girl has oh. hired you to tell to deliver the news. Okay, these are the details on her. Is Matt Let's delivering like this? Is good news or bad news? <laughs> this is bad news. He's, yeah, he's just he's just news. He's just, it's just news. Yeah, because yeah, it can be any news. Wait, can you read this it is, out loud? This is Matt from Brown's breaking news. Yeah. All right, her name is T. Lives in Brisbane. She's oh, yeah, blonde, big tits. Um, <laughs> this happened two years ago, roughly. He had sex with her around six times, and she told him she was on the pill. But nine months exactly later, she pops a kid out, and the kid apparently looks like him. He is short with a big head, black hair, and black mo. This is gold. I've been showing everyone your content and website. All my mates love it. I play it in the office <laughs> at work out loud. I'm bored and get some fucking laughs and some not so nice. Okay. Call me if you need any more. <laughs> Plays it at work. Imagine our shit going oh, on in the background. In the tea room. <laughs> That's scrolling looking for more details. <laughs> yeah, the top will have some. But basically, so you're just going to call him up what his name. Hey, say, hey, um, how you doing? Basically, you've got a kid. Yeah, basically, you slept with a girl called about uh, this X amount of yeah. time ago, and uh, she's hired me to tell you that the child um, is actually yours. She was too scared to tell you. Okay. And cut her name, please, Connor. Sorry. All right. Uh, both names, all names. Sorry. So you know what you're doing, Matt? He hasn't got the phone number. Oh, no. What have you done, <laughs> Brooke? I'm going to have to do it next week now. <laughs> oh, no. I was so excited. We hear the jingle and everything. <laughs> Oh, oh, fucking hell, Michael. All I'll right. call you back, he okay. said. I'll call you oh, back, that's good. That's that's good. Send that's him a text. Good. That's good. Send him a text, we'll do P.O. box, and then um, if he comes through with a number, then we're good. I said, so what's his one. number, dude? Sorry. Yeah, I had I'd a fan reach out, and, man, you boys are getting some good presents soon in the P.O. box. Yeah, I've been, I getting, saw some, someone, I've been getting some messages too. Diabetes? <clears throat> yeah. Mm. 
All right, look, we'll come back to that. I'm really sorry. All right, should we go PO Box? Yeah, let's do PO Box. We'll come back to the breaking news. Has there only been one bong break in this podcast? Oh, you have a bong. No, That's we hectic, had, we man. Have two? No, we had two. We had the one we were yeah, right before bong. Bamboozle. We had another one. Okay, okay need good. a third bong. All right, guys, Leo, man. Are we having one? All right, um, we have got a P.O. box. If you want to send us any P.O. box, you can send it to 256 Tagum 48 in Queensland, <laughs> Australia. Send us some weird stuff or whatever you want. And also send in like more yeah, prank Morbid. calls as well as like yeah, groundbreaking um, news because sometimes they don't work. But if you can get one to work, it is the best. Yeah, yeah Just simple news, any simple news. news you want. All right, this is from James Dozzy. Dozzy. From pa- 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 Paprika. Paprika. Papamoa. Papamoa. Papamoa in New Zealand. He's from New Zealand. Anyway, I'm pretty excited. This does say what it is. I'll show James, but we're going to open it up <laughs> uh, anyway and we'll see what's in there. Hey, is hey, it hey, treats? Hey, hey. I hope it's I sugar. I think so. The judging off their reaction. I don't know. New Zealand does have their own treats. Though, oh, so no. Anything could be possible. It's beef jerky. <laughs> Imagine if a box just said anthrax. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the government would never do that to us. All right. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. A little note. A little note. Same. I haven't no, sent anything into, into the podcast since so Matt my Brown ate one, one of my tarantulas in season, season four. four. Oh, it's that man. Yeah, do you remember that? You yeah. had the scorpion. <laughs> Marty enjoyed the scorpion so much there wasn't enough for everyone else. But don't worry, boys. I've been shopping again and now there's enough for each of you. I decided to take easy this time as very soon you'll be receiving another package from me containing some exotic and venomous creatures from Asia. Oh, no. Fucking hell. This time you'll be wishing it was just a tarantula. Over the last few years, I've been working in wildlife conservation in Africa, rescuing and supporting animals such as elephants, rhinos, lions and cheetahs. I'm currently fundraising to continue my work saving the wildlife. So I was hoping you could give me my Instagram a quick shout out to help me get out there. I use Instagram to show the work done for these animals. And I also think I also link my fundraiser there. His Insta is James underscore dozy. So J A M E S underscore D O double Z Y. Yeah. Oi, follow it. I'm looking at it now. It's sick. Follow it. I'm going to follow it. You are followed from me, my friend. That's I think Marty's in Marty and Michael would just go, you follow, bro. There you go. Oh, these photos are so cool. Dude. Oh, he's literally like working oh, with wow. lions yeah, and elephants. This shit. And shit. Look at that thing. Fuck yeah. Bamboozled yeah, times 10 what's about to happen. You guys finally, are scared. This finally. Is so bad. There's some stickers for you, Matt. Yes. Since you were the unlucky bastard to end Sick. up with a spider in your mouth last time, keep an eye out for my next mystery box if it makes it past customs. Ring since day one. Enjoy the scorpions. Cheers, boys. James. Are they, they're not Thank like you, alive, James, are they? Sort of, I guess. I'm not really keen on this. <laughs> so give him a follow, guys. James underscore Dozzy works with bloody animals. Hey? And now he's sent some in for us to have a nibble of. Oh, dude. Are you not scared? How are you fucking confident right now? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm, not on, I'm not on the influence of drugs, so that probably helps. <laughs> Brown, you're on sugar. <laughs> Hang on. No, no, I'm not. Someone's calling back. Sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. I had to do it. Oh, oh that was good, dude. <laughs> I've actually had no sugar today. Oh, there's scorpion lollipops. Oh, wow. Wow, you can really <laughs> dance. <laughs> wow, you can really dance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. You can really dance. Mad. All right. um, I might Chocolate have... coated scorpions. Oh, sick. You can have that one. You can have that one. Scorpion lollipops. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Isn't in she- there. Can yeah, sco- there's a scorpion inside it's the like lollipop. It's like Jurassic. Oh, that's hectic. It's like Jesus Jurassic Park fuck. with the um the uh, the uh mosquito in the rock. Scorpion lollipop. So, guys, I don't know if you can see that. There's a scorpion inside the lollipop. That's okay. hectic. So, oh. you, you suck, you f- suck on it. And you're allowed to eat them. Yeah. The little pincers are sticking out already. They- I don't know. I might save mine. <laughs> no, yeah. for the bin. We eat it live. Okay. You can taste the scorpion. And then we've got some chocolate coated scorpions as well. Oh, there's a green end on your sleeve. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's still alive. Oh, imagine. Oh. It's like fucking wriggling and freaking out. I don't get it. Why is it in there? Mm. It's, it's it there. looks quite real. Like, it's, it oh, it's real. chilly as fuck. It's chilly as. No, it's not really. Oh, oh man. I kind of wish it was. You got me. Because <laughs> it got me good. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, can you open that's those? That's hectic. Are you boys disappointed with the I hate the lollies? There? I fucking you hate open this. For Kinder. <laughs> oh, oh don't worry. I've seen some photos, and there is some hectic shit coming. That's literally away. a yeah, chocolate so scorpion. A, a chocolate scorpion. Imagine if you forgot to take the tail off or the poison out. Can I have a little nibble? Thoughts? Mm. Fussy little boys. Actually, not too bad. Fussy little browns. Michael? Luke, do you want a chocolate scorpion? Oh, I have, I have, I have, I have, have a little oh. bit of chocolate scorpion. I'll get this down. I'll get that's this too. fucking a weird. Do you want one? Let's chalk cool. Thanks, James. Back. Here we go. Yeah, For the scorpions. Give Brown, brown off answer. with Colin Dillon. Yeah. He's going to answer Brown. Can you put the message please, up? Please, Dylan. Hello. Hey, is that... Yeah, who's this? Um, my name is Brown. I'm from a, a podcast called Brown's Breaking News. I've got some news for you. Yep. Um, sorry to bother you if you're busy, but um, basically the news I have is from a girl named Ta- <laughs> All right. So basically she says she slept with you a couple of years ago, roughly. Is that right? Um. Oh, 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 shit. Call back. Call back and just say the kid is yours. Okay. Really it is your first thing you say. <laughs> Did you eat the fucking scorpion? <laughs> Just chew it. The person you are calling. Oh, oh, shit. Well, I'll leave a message. Please leave a short message and it will be sent as an audio message. Hey, sorry about that. I think we got cut off. Um, uh, basically, the news is is that uh, she's had a kid and the kid is yours. Um, feel free to ring us back. I'm only delivering the news. Uh, but she said she wants nothing to do with you. She just wants you to know. Oh, <laughs> dude, brutal. Man, dude, up. we have to tell him that that's a joke, surely. Because, okay. man, I, I imagine nah, the no, panic. No, no, no. Leave it for a bit. Okay. Yeah, right. we'll he hung him. up on us. Yeah, we'll text him It's later. his fault. Oh, man. I'm, oh, oh well, that's, I get these weird, like, feelings in my back during those stressful moments. Cancer. Do you ever get I that? I think that's cancer. Yeah, it's I think that's probably I got cancer. it when you guys, I got the same thing when I when I walked out with you guys for the boxing. I was yeah, like, no, I just that's got definitely it cancer, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, sounds yeah. a lot like cancer. Great, <laughs> great. <laughs> um, Look. Damn it. So, yeah. so he's, imagine hearing that, that, no, it's a kid's yours. Fuck. Like, you would be like, you. that's yeah, your life damn over. It. Yeah, he let's, panicked. Let's he panicked. Send him a message saying it's we're only joking, dude. No, not yet. Yeah, Let yeah. him swim in it. Anxiety. If he, if, he should answer the phone. Then we could tell him that. What if he's in the process of tying a noose right, right now? Oh no, he can't. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's. let's no, 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 no. Right, now, right now, he's reading the text message that's that's come through. From oh, I don't what know. I, said. I think he's he's listening to that thirty seconds ago. He's currently tightening it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's, it let's, definitely, let's just send him a message saying, "Hey, mate." <laughs> no, no, take it, Marty. Don't. He should have answered the phone. I'll send it. No, Michael. Just let's call him once more. Okay. Wait, wait. Should we just should, let's send him the text and say it's a prank, and then I'll call him and say, "Do we?" The sorry. person you are calling. I think oh, he's blocked you. Blocked the number, boys. <sighs> we'll so send he, the. Let's send the. <laughs> either tell that. Him that. Oh, I'll call his name oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, tell him to mate. get on to him. Yeah. Tell Let Matt uh, call him. Let Matt deliver the news that he's yeah. made. His oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll deliver the bad news to Greg. <laughs> I swear like a third of our podcast is just ringing. Yeah, there's a lot of ringing. All right, guys, it's the next day now. We ran out of time yesterday to do a prank call. We said, no, we're doing a prank call today. We were so many failed calls yesterday. We're going to do it and we're going to do a prank call now, Mike. Why don't you tell everyone what we got going on, man? <clears throat> Arnold Fine could call North Plumbing and Gas and tell him that one of his pigs died and he cut it up in pieces and tried to shove it down the toilet and now it's all jammed. Yeah. I put pig in toilet. Morning, thank you speaking. Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Arnold Fine. Uh, you have a white van, yes? We do have a white van, that's Yeah, correct. okay. I, I, my uh, wife, uh, she drive uh, yesterday, okay? She have a uh, kit in the back of car. 
Uh, white van, uh, cut across uh, two lane uh, traffic. Okay, to turn right. Uh, my wife, uh, she have a break uh, so hard. Uh, my child uh, uh, hit a back seat with head, a sling head into a back seat and uh, crying and uh, bleeding on the nose. Uh, and uh, my wife, uh, she honked the horn and uh, say, uh, fuck you. And uh, so she take photo of van. And she come home uh, crying and uh, she's sick and a uh, kid with a uh, blood nose and uh, your van cut uh, my wife off, huh? Okay, do you mind holding for one moment? Okay, I hold uh, not too long, no. though, huh? I'm at work. No, that's okay. No, that's okay. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Yeah, it's Andrew here. Um, yeah, one of the girls was just telling me... Um, uh, had an incident with your wife yesterday. Uh, yeah, she drive uh, her car. We have a kid in the back seat. Uh, your van, uh, she uh, cut across uh, traffic, uh, two lane, uh, cut in front of my wife. Uh, and uh, she have a slam brake on. And uh, my uh, son, his head sling forward and slam into a uh, back seat. ha! <laughs> And uh, his nose uh, bleed and he cry and cry and my wife, uh, she uh, go crazy and uh, shaking, she scared and come home and uh, she take a photo of a van uh, with a number and uh, she very upset. So I think I call and uh, say maybe uh, you need to tell your drivers to uh, be careful and look yeah. out for sick wife. Yeah, definitely. So what, do you know what the van number was? Uh, the phone number from van. It, uh, no, 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 no. Do you know the? Um, do you know what the where the location was in the time? No, I don't. Uh, North, uh, North Brisbane. I don't know a uh, street and so. But uh, okay. but it was uh, afternoon uh, after she picked son up from uh, from school. Uh, she's sick. Yeah. My wife is sick. She vomit. She uh, one eye close. Uh, she have a stroke and she cannot uh, walk and she blah, 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 she a deep voice. Uh, she fucked. Right. Okay. My wife is uh, she's fucked. Right. And uh, so she uh, very uh, fragile, you know. And uh, she yeah. come home and she say. Uh, Arnold, uh, when nearly hit me in car, my son uh, look a uh, fat. His uh, nose is a fat. Uh, she cry, he cry, and uh, you know it. Uh, it hurt. It hurt sometimes. All right, no worries. All right, we'll look into it. We'll have a meeting with all the all the staff, and um, yeah, we'll just let them know about the duty of care on the road. Eh? Okay, I appreciate that. Right. You have no worries at all. Have a strong, Thanks, uh, firm voice, and uh, I, I yeah. you know, I, I just want someone talk sometimes, and uh, I feel yeah. I feel uh, comfortable uh, with you. Uh, would you like to maybe get a coffee? Uh, no, look, our schedule is very busy at the moment. Okay. Um, so yeah, what about on a uh, weekend? Uh, maybe you and I yeah. go get coffee and we hold hands in park. Yeah, all right. No worries. Well, okay. leave it with me. I will. Um, I'll chase up the. Um, I'll talk to all the drivers, and um, yeah, we'll just uh, make them aware of what's. Okay. What's can uh, can uh, okay. I can get maybe apology to come back to my wife because she. Uh, she naked. Yeah, she nice. naked in the floor. She rolling around and vomit, and uh, she just want apology. Yeah. Okay. We well, let her know. We're, uh, we we apologise. Okay. And um, we'll have to chat to everyone. Okay. 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 Sound good. Um, I I I've been lying to you. Uh, that did not happen. I do not have a wife. Okay. 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 You have good good day. Okay. I just want someone okay. to talk to. I I lonely. I only have. Yeah. Thank you. For Look, thanks very much for your, okay. your call. Anyway. Okay. 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 Bye. See you Bye. on the weekend. Okay. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. There's real issues, dude. He's, oh, no, he's finally too. being honest. Oh, he's never had a wife. <laughs> that, yeah. that poor guy had, couldn't say no. He just said, oh, "I've got a busy schedule." Yeah, yeah. Man, he's a gentleman. He's yeah, a what a fucking gentleman. Man. Yeah, great business. Yeah. I feel like we should. Yeah, I, I, you can't be angry at someone yeah, like that. He's too cute. He's yeah. too cute. Maybe we should call up and tell someone to do a shit. Touche, motherfucker.
<laughs> Look, what's a, a business lawn bowls? open? Oh, no. What about a lawn bowls that? club? What's another thing like lawn bowls? Laser tag. Something where. Call all Luke's oh. dad. Call something- <laughs> You're booking in a laser tag sesh. Hello? Hey, um, I'm just calling, like, to see, like, my grandma's, like, getting real old and shit, and my family and I have decided, like, to start putting her in nursing homes and shit. So how, like, do you get into the nursing homes and shit? Is there, like, some kind of application? Yeah, to we, we are not a nursing home. We just, um, like, independent living retirement unit. Oh, hectic, hectic. So, like, yeah. just old, old people just go and, like, live there and shit. That's right, yeah. They, they look oh, after, it's... like, they are independent, quite independent. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a place that they can, like, roam around and shit and eat grass before they yeah, go to a nursing can, home. Yeah, that's right. They cook themselves, you know. They and walk around the park outside. and, like, eat the grass there and yeah. shit, keep the grass in the lawns mode and shit? No, no, no. Okay, all right. That's hectic yeah. shit. Well, oh, is there, like, many people? How old is your grandma? She's, like, 69 or some shit. She's getting up there. She's got, like, heaps of, like... Dumb shit wrong with her. She can't like walk and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe a nursing home, but like, I, I wouldn't mind having a look at like that inde- independent, whatever you said, like the um ind- independent uh, yeah, living and shit. Living, yeah, uh, that kind of shit. Yeah. Is there like lots of people around and shit, or is it like pretty like hectic, like loose, small? No, they they do have uh, their own like unit. Everyone have their own oh, unit. Hectic. Hectic yeah. shit. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Imagine, like, this. Oh, I've got a weird sense of humor, but, like, like, do you ever, like, mess with them? Like, imagine, like, if you just walked out, like, in front of one of the units and, like, just did a shit in front of the door and, like, didn't even say anything and then, like, ran back to your office and, like, imagine, like, them coming home, right? And then they're, like, park and then they're walking up the park and they're, like, what the f is a f- human shit on my f- footpath? That would be so funny, bro. Yeah, hold on. We, I know, I'm in a meeting at the moment. I call you back. Okay? Oh, bro, no, do a shit. I reckon do a shit in the meeting. Oh, oh damn it, you lost yeah, it. no time for that. <laughs> no time for that. <laughs> I'm in, in a meeting. meeting. <laughs> Once <laughs> again, it was on speaker. <laughs> on speaker in the meeting. Oh, it's like man. on a big boardroom, oh, and there's just that 10, 10 business executives what sitting the there. F- what was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love Carl, man. Yeah, look, we got just makes up words. Once again, couldn't say like <laughs> no. I just oh, I'm in a meeting. <laughs> like that's how I right, got out. Try one more. Oh. Welcome to Western Vince, how can I help? Hey Vince, um, me and my family have just recently been talking and shit, and we've decided that like our grandma's like she's like pretty f- old and shit. We're wondering like, do you guys do like, is it like a nursing home shit or is it like? more like independent living type thing that you do there? Uh, well, independent living you buy into, retirement living, or there's aged care. Right, so what, what do you guys do and shit? Well, that's what we do. So there's retirement living. Oh, so you do you both and shit. Oh, that's hectic. Yeah. Okay, so maybe she like qualifies for like um, independent living and that. Like, how would I go about like admitting her into it and shit? Uh, do you mean, well, it's to buy into? Oh, hectic shit. Okay, I get you. Living, yeah. yeah, she's got it's some money aside and stone. shit. She's got like her like pension and shit. She comes in and she's got like um her super that she like lives off and shit. She's like got a few medical shit though wrong with her and that. Like she can't like walk properly. And like when she opens her mouth, like most of her teeth are gone and shit. She's got like bulges on her neck and uh, her hair's falling out. But So there's like some shit wrong with her, but she's still like able to get around on her own and shit. So maybe... Like, you, would, would someone like that, like, still be able to, like, buy in and shit, even though they need, like, some help and shit? Well, yeah, it's entirely up to you. Yeah, they can buy into it, but then they just need to organise. Like, it's not assisted living in retirement living. So you live independently, and then she might get help from a provider to help her do domestic or shower or... But that's totally separate. Okay. Or there's aged care when you where you go into an aged care facility. Oh, okay. So you got so maybe we're just throwing in one of the aged care homes and shit because then like nurses and shit can like look after her if she slips over or she shits her pants or something. Yeah, and she's had an A cut and everything. And she's had a what? Sorry. An A cut. So don't... to go into aged care, you just need to um, have an A cut. How old is she? Oh, phew. off the top of my head, I'd probably say like she's pretty. F- old hey i'd say like maybe 74 or some shit right 
Right. Does she get any help at home at the moment? Yeah, no, but she's constantly, like, calling and messaging, like, so annoying, like, oh, I need help, like, reaching, like, food and shit. Like, it's, like, constant. So that's why we kind of, like, made the decision to, like, you know, put her in, like, a nursing home or some shit. Someone else can deal with it. Okay, well, I'll give you the number for my aged care because you need to call them first. They'd have to do an assessment, so you need an ACAT. So to start the process, I'll give you the number for my aged care. Okay, hectic shit. Yeah, that's to organise an ACAT. So to go into aged care, you need to have an assessment and they'll do the ACAT. So, because if she was getting help at home, she probably already would have had one. But if not, that's the first process you need to do. Okay, and then they just like see how fuck is and shit, and then if she's fucked then she qualifies for aged care. Is that right? Well, I'll just do an assessment, yeah. Okay, that's Correct. hectic shit. Okay, so, all right, cool. So I'll, I'll call that number and then see if she qualifies and shit. Um, and then okay. and then we'll go from there, hey? Okay, have a good day. Oh, oh dude, oh, yeah, I just thought of something hilarious. Oh, I've got a weird sense of humor, but like, are you like in the office right now? Mm-hmm. Dude, imagine like, yes. imagine like, okay, there's no one in the office but you and you just like pull your pants down and do a shit in the middle of the office and like, and then just like walk away and then just like imagine seeing the face on the other staff members if they come into the office and there's a huge shit in the middle of the floor, bro. That would be so funny. Mm, okay, have a good day. Oh, dude, yeah. I think you should do it. But anyway, that's just my sense of humor. But I think I, oh, I would do it if I was in your position. Do a shit. Okay, have a good day. Do a Bye. shit. See ya. <laughs> yeah, that is hard to hear. That is hard that to hear. Rough. That is hard to hear, dude. Oh, okay, have a good day. Just when he oh. thought he was out, oh. you sucked him back in. He would have been so fed up with your language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He dealt with that quite well. Oh man, look, it's hard. They don't all laugh at doing shit. There's no, people that are very serious in this most world. Most don't. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to laugh. Yeah, at there, there it's enough. a certain skill to to cut through all your shits yeah, and. Yeah. Fun and hectics I love it to when get they the info fuck out. up and get angry at you. <laughs> yeah, that's so inappropriate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give us a five star review on Spotify. And um, we hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. And we are the best. The best. Yeah, oh, are. green it. Green it. Do oh, shit. Man. That was yesterday. What's this? Bro. Whoa. 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 That's proof that's that, that we're the best. Ow. We're the best. Should have left it at one. Yeah. We're, the best. we're the best. We're the best. We're the best, everyone. Best. See you next week. Whoop. We're the be be best. The best.